the universal virtual coming around of religion. The Sunnis adoption of Islam as their core faith plays a central role in their identity. The Maliki school of Islam dies, their religious practices, encompassing obligations such as praying five times a day, reciting the Quran, fasting, pilgrimage to Mecca, and almsgiving. This religious foundation has not only shaped their spiritual beliefs, but has also influenced their political and social structures throughout history. The Fulani people, numbering approximately 38 million, have carved a distinctive niche in West African history and culture. Their origins, though the subject of scholarly debate, intertwine with the Senegambia region, suggesting a deep-rooted connection to the West African landscape over a millennium. Historical and genetic evidence now leans towards an indigenous West African origin, challenging earlier speculations about North African or Arabic ancestry. The Fulani's dynamic journey unfolds against the backdrop of social, political, and economic complexities. Their expansion eastward and westward in the 16th century marked a pivotal moment, leading to the emergence of settled and nomadic factions. Spearheaded by leaders like Tengwana Kali and later Usman Dan Fodio, the Fulani's influence extended across regions culminating in the establishment of empires and jihad states in the 17th and 18th centuries. Religion has been a cornerstone of Fulani identity, with Islam shaping their spiritual, social, and political landscapes. The adoption of the Maliki school and adherence to Sunni Muslim practices illustrate a deep-seated commitment to their faith. The rise of empires led by Fulani leaders, known as the Nayas, mirrored the intertwining of religious and political authority. The Fulani's nomadic heritage, characterized by cattle herding and extensive trade routes, has not only shaped their economic practices, but has also contributed significantly to the broader West African economic fabric. The clash with settled agricultural communities over resources reflects the complexities inherent in balancing traditional lifestyles with evolving societal norms. Cultural practices, such as intricate tattoos and spear duels, serve as vivid expressions of human identity. The adherence to a strict caste system adds another layer to their social fabric, delineating roles and statuses within their community. In the face of modernization, the Fulani grapple with the potential erosion of their nomadic identity, raising questions about the preservation of their unique cultural heritage. Linguistically, the Fulani's few language showcases a fusion of influences, incorporating known words from Arabic and Berber. Their ability to communicate in multiple languages, including French or English, reflects a historical adaptability to diverse cultural contexts. As education plays a crucial role, Fulani Muslims often possess literacy in Arabic, emphasizing the continuity of their intellectual traditions. The Fulani's story is one of resilience, 
adaptation and the delicate dance between tradition and change. Their ability to navigate the shifting landscapes of West Africa, from the Sahel grasslands to the modern urban centers, speaks to the enduring strengths of their cultural tapestry. As they continue to forge their path in the 21st century, the Fulani people contribute a unique chapter to the ongoing narrative of West African diversity and heritage. The Fulani people, numbering around 38 million and spread across 18 African countries, face the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. Their story, rooted in migration, conquest, and cultural adaptation, continues to unfold, revealing a resilient people, navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. Historically, the Fulani entered Senegal from the north and east, and various theories propose different origins, including ties to Berber people of North Africa. Genetic evidence, however, suggests indigenous West African roots, supported by linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber languages. Religiously, the Fulani are predominantly Muslims, Following the Maliki school of Islam, the rise to political dominance occurred in the 17th and 18th centuries, with key figures like Usman and Fodio, establishing the Fulani Empire. Migration patterns, influenced by Berber movements, brought the Fulani into contact with various African tribes, often resulting in conquests. The Fulani people's journey through history is marked by intricacies and diverse narratives that intertwine with the rich tapestry of West African culture. As they traversed the Sahel grasslands from Senegal to Sudan in the 16th century, the Fulani's nomadic lifestyle shaped their identity. Despite their small numbers, nomadic groups expanded due to the availability of grazing lands, leading to the emergence of distinct factions, the settled Fulani, and the nomadic Fulani. In the 16th century, Tangola Kali, a nomadic Fulani leader, runs against the Songhai Empire's edicts limiting grazing space. His rebellion, though he perished in battle, spurred the Fulani to conquer regions northwest of the Jalan Mountains establishing new lines of kingship. By the 18th century, the Fulani's power extended southward and eastward, bringing them into conflict with the oil empire. This era saw the rise of leaders like Usman and Fodio, who sought to reform Muslim practices leading to the establishment of centralized Fulani empires. Religiously, the Fulani embraced Islam, following the Maliki school and adhering to Sunni Muslim practices. Their political dominance grew steadily in the 17th and 18th centuries, culminating in the Fulani, Empire founded by Usman and Fodio, which included smaller states like the Fauta Jalan and Messina. These regions later became known as the Takraya to the Arabs. Migration played a crucial role in shaping Fulani history. Over a span of a thousand years, from 900, 
AD to about 19 AD. Berber migrations from North Africa to Senegal region brought the Fulani into the spotlight. These migrations led to encounters with various African tribes, resulting in the Fulani conquering less powerful groups. Despite the complexities and debates surrounding their origins, the Fulani people's genetic evidence suggests an indigenous West African origin. Historical and archaeological records support the Fulani's presence in Western Africa since the 5th century AD, with rock paintings in the Tassilia Najja indicating proto-Fulani cultural traits. The Fulani language known as Fula, exhibits linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber, reflecting interactions with North Africa. Fula, categorized within the Niger Congo language family, has multiple dialects associated with different regions such as Futa Toro, Futa Jalan, Mazina, Sokoto, and Adamama. As the Fulani people face the challenges of modernization and the risk of losing their nomadic identity, they grappled with adapting to changing times. The clash between their traditional way of life and the demands of an evolving world raised questions about cultural preservation and the future trajectory of the Fulani people. The Fulani people's narrative unfolds through the lenses of migration, conquest, religious transformation, and cultural adaptation, creating a dynamic and multifaceted story, deeply rooted in the history of West Africa. The Fiumi's story is one of complexity and diversity, spanning centuries and continents, reflecting the intricate tapestry of West African history and culture. Finally, most Fiumi people are taken as Sunni Muslims, but are also influenced by the larger Muslim Brotherhood. For most of the Fiumi people, the settled Fulani are more devout in religious activities compared to the nomadic Fulani. The Fulani people's dynamic narrative extends beyond political and religious realms, encompassing social structures, cultural practices, and their interactions with neighboring communities. The Fiumi societal fabric is woven with a deep appreciation for beauty, expressed through intricate tattoos adorning their bodies. Notably, the blackish color of a Fiumi woman's lips, often a result of hair or tattooing, serves as a distinctive feature, reflecting the importance placed on aesthetics. The Fulani people, numbering around 38 million and spread across 18 African countries, face the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. Their story, rooted in migration, conquest, and cultural adaptation, continues to unfold, revealing a resilient people navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. Historians trace the entry of the Fulani people into present-day Senegal from the north and east. They were a mixture of people from sub-Saharan and northern Africa. After the 10th century, they mostly moved in an eastern direction spreading into a large part of West Africa. 
Another historical point of view is seen in the book The History of the Upper Guinea Coast by Walter Rodney who argued that the Fulb of Guinea people were originally from North Africa and they also went on a conquest against the Futa Jalan region led by the Fulani Khalid Umbrella. Another theory places the origin of the Fulani people with the Berber people of North Africa between the 8th and 11th century AD. According to this theory, the Berbers migrated and mixed with the Senegalese people of West Africa and the Fulani people came into existence. Despite the speculations surrounding the origin of the Fulani people, current genetic evidence suggests an indigenous West African origin among the Peel. Historical records, as well as archaeological records, have placed the origin of Peel speakers in Western Africa from around the 5th century AD there are also rock paintings that are found in the Tassilian Ajju which suggests the presence of proto fulani cultural traits around the 4th millennium BC which are still practiced by contemporary Fulani people. Linguistic ties the Fulani language has many known words from the Arabic and Berber do interactions with North Africa. Fula is a Niger Congo language, of the Atlantic languages branch of the Niger Congo languages, and of the Senegambian sub branch of Atlantic Niger Congo languages. The spoken language of the Fulani known as Fula, is also sometimes called Fulfeld or Pulea. In spite of the geographical distribution of the Fulani people, similarities exist between their grammar and vocabulary. Five major dialects or regions can be associated with the Fulani language which includes Futa Toro, Senegal slash Mauritania, Futa Jalan, Guinea, Mazina, Mali, Sokoto, Nigeria, Adamua, Cameroon. With most of Fulani people being Muslims, they can write and read Arabic. Many of them can speak either French or English depending on the European country that colonized their region. The Fulani people speak a known class language, which can be split into two dialect regions, Pula, spoken west of the Niger River, and Fulfold, spoken east of the Niger River Bend. A known class system is a device in language for constructing nouns based on having classifications for any reference to person or thing to which a noun word refers. Fula has 24 to 26 classes of nouns, all with abstract categorization criteria not relating to gender. The Fulani people originated from the area near the Senegal River and the upper Niger River majorly as cattle farmers who shared their lands with other groups like the Sonink. They contributed to the rise of the Empire of Ghana. Around the 16th century, the Fulani stretched through the Sahel grassland from today's Senegal to Sudan. These expansions were led by nomadic groups of cattle breeders eastward and westward. Though these nomadic groups were small in number, they soon expanded and increased in size, solely because of the availability 
of grazing lands in the Sahel grasslands. Despite the expansion, two distinct groups emerged amongst them, the settled Fulani and the nomadic Fulani. These groups eventually became separate political entities with their different leaders. The first nomadic Fulani leader to rise in the homelands of ancient Ghana was Tembrano Koli. He opposed the edict by asking in the homage of the Songhai Empire. The edict limited the grazing space available, for the Mursa revolt was sparked against the Empire in 1512. Though Kali was killed in battle, the rebellion against the Songhai War continued. Beyond the adornments, the Fulani people maintain a strong sense of pride, evident in their nomadic herding lifestyle. Cattle, the most prized possessions in Fulani society, serve as a measure of wealth. However, this centrality of cattle has sparked conflicts, particularly with local farmers as the herds occasionally graze on their fields, revealing the complexities of coexistence between different livelihoods in West Africa. Traditional ceremonies, such as spear duels marking the coming of age for young boys, showcase the Fiori's emphasis on bravery and fearlessness. While such rituals have historical significance, some have faced legal restrictions due to safety concerns. These cultural practices underscore the Fulani's commitment to preserving their unique heritage, even as external influences and modernization pose challenges to their traditional way of life. As modes of transportation modernize across West Africa, the Fulani face the risk of losing their nomadic identity. Settlements in farms and villages become a necessity, presenting a stark contrast to the historical lifestyle. This shift raises questions about the preservation of Fulani culture, and the potential impacts on their societal dynamics. The Fulani's respect for a strict caste system further shapes their social structure. Divided into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Fulani, this caste system influences various aspects of their lives including social interactions, economic roles, and inherited statuses. In the realm of religion, the Fulani's adoption of Islam as their core faith plays a central role in their identity. The Maliki school of Islam guides their religious practices encompassing obligations such as praying five times a day, reciting the Quran, fasting, pilgrimage to Mecca, and almsgiving. This religious foundation has not only shaped their spiritual beliefs, but has also influenced their political and social structures throughout history. The Fulani people, Numbering around 38 million and spread across 18 African countries, face the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. Their story, rooted in migration, conquest, and cultural adaptation, continues to unfold, revealing a resilient people navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. 
The rise to the political dominance of the Fulani people started as early as the 17th and 18th centuries with greater dominance in the 19th century. The Fulis took control of various states in West Africa and created empires. Notable of these were the Fulani Empire founded by Asman Damfodio, which comprised of smaller states, the Fauta German, and the Messina Dutch.